Hey guys, what's up? Pillrox99 here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a server on Minecraft 1.4.7 with Craft Bucket. Now, what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to download the Craft Bucket and put it in any folder that you want, which will be your server folder. And it'll have a bunch of numbers in it, but you need to rename it to just craftbucket.jar. And once you do that, you're going to want to make a new text document and you're going to want to paste this code from the description now this is for people with 32 bit if you have 64 bit you can allocate as much ram as you want but for 32 bit users you can only allocate one gigabyte of ram which kind of stinks for me because i have 32 bit and i kind of want to make a big server but i can't because i can't allocate more than one gigabyte so yeah so until they come out with a fix with that, which I never think they will, you're just going to have to only have one gigabyte of RAM dedicated to your server if you're on 32-bit. So I'll have this code in the description. This is for 32-bit users. For 64-bit, basically what you do is you put the amount of RAM you want to allocate here and then divide it by 2 and put it over here. So, yeah, so you're just going to want to do that. And you're going to want to change this to craft bucket that jar just like you spelled it up here. So, yeah, I'll have that in the description. And, yeah, and then you're going to want to press enter and then type pause. So, we're going to save that as run.bat. Select all files. Run.bat. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on that. It's going to load it all up. And it, basically what it's doing right now is it's creating your server. You guys might think this is easy, but once we go into port forwarding, it gets a little bit tricky. So you're just going to want to wait for that to load. It only takes about probably a minute, maybe less. And yeah so it's done and once you're done with that you can just type stop and it'll stop okay so next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up server.properties now this is the server right here so <coughs> basically this is the most important part right here one of them this is if you want to make it a cracked server I also have this in the description too. If you want it to be a crack server, you change it to false. If you want to leave it as a premium server, you change it to true. And that's all there is to it. So I'll make it false because I have cracked Minecraft. And yeah, so allow nether, true, level name. This is what your map is going to be named. I'll make it X Hill Rocks 99X. Enable quarry, false, allow flight, false, server port, keep that at 25565. Make your server IP. Here's how to find out your server IP. This is your private IP. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make your IP a static IP. I'm not going to do that in this video because I don't want this video to be really long. So you're going to have to search up how to make your IP static. It's actually pretty easy but I don't really have time to do it right now. So, yeah, so search it up on YouTube. I'll probably put a link to the video in the description on how to make your IP static. And, yeah, so so once you do, once you make your IP static, just pause this video, you, you're going to want to go to CMD and type in IP config. And then this right here, this is your IP. So you can copy that and paste that in here so mine is 192.168.1.8 that's my private IP that's not how you connect to the server but we'll get into all that later so max build height 256 spawn NPCs true whitelist false spawn animals hardcore no okay this is how you make it um cracked and stuff PvP true difficulty 
one is easy, zero is peaceful. So if you want it peaceful, set it to zero. If you want it easy, set it to one. I'll make it one. Game mode, um, zero is creative, one is survival, two is hardcore or adventure, I don't know what it's called. And so yeah, so this is the max players. Now for one gigabyte of RAM, I'd, I'd suggest about 25 to 30 players per gigabyte of RAM. I mean, you can stretch it and go to about 35 or 40, but that's pretty much the max for one gigabyte. It might be pretty laggy even on 40 or 35. So I'd suggest doing about probably 25 or 30. So I'll make it 30. Spawn monsters, I will put that as I will put that as true. And the MOTD is basically what shows up under the server when you launch up Minecraft. So I'll make that X Hill Rocks 99X. So you can just save that and you can start up your server. But we're not done yet. We are not done yet. Basically now what you have to do is you have to port forward. Port forwarding it's kind of hard. I only know how to do it on Verizon. So if you have an other IP, I, I, um, ISP besides Verizon, then I'd suggest searching up another video like how to port forward Minecraft on whatever your ISP is. So basically for Verizon users, you can keep watching this. You go to 192.168.1.1 in your search bar. And the default thing for Verizon is admin and then the password is password one and once you get in there there will be everything here so you're gonna wanna go to advanced click yes find port rules um where is it port forwarding rules you're gonna wanna add a new rule you can name it minecraft and you're going to want to add a port you're going to want to make one TCP make this any and then make this single and type 25565 next you want to do going to add another one select UDP same thing keep that any select this single and type 25565 and you're going to want to click apply for that, but I already have a rule, so I'm not going to do it. And next, you're going to want to click firewall settings and click OK. And on the side here, you're going to click port forwarding. You're going to click this list right here and select your IP address. So this is my IP right here. And then you're going to click Minecraft, which is the rule you just created. And then you click add. But I already have it, so I'm not going to do it. And once you click add, click resolve now at the bottom. We're almost done, guys. So next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to exit out of that. I did it a little bit earlier than I said. And next, you're going to want to go to your control panel and go to firewall. So click system and security right here. Click Windows firewall. And click advanced settings. Now, you're going to want to click inbound rules here. This is very important or else it won't work. And you're going to want to click new rule. Click on port. Select TCP. Type 25565. Allow the connection. Select all of these. Name it Minecraft. TCP and click finish. Now I'm not going to do this because I already have my rules in there and I don't want to mess up my server. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click new rule again, select port again, but this time select UDP and type 25565 again. Do that, do that, and name it Minecraft. UDP so again I'm not gonna add it because I already did 
Next, you're going to want to click outbound rules and do the same thing. The reason I do this is because I don't know which which rule to do it for. Uh, I, I haven't been able to find an answer. I'm, I'm sure, it, I'm pretty sure it's inbound rules, but just do both. So click outbound rules and do the same thing. New rule, port, select TCP, 25565. Next, oh. Allow the connection. Next, Minecraft TCP, and then do the same thing for the UDP for both, and then just exit out of that. And then your server will be done. All you have to do next is you have to get your IP address from online. So I'll have a website to that. You just Google what's my IP address. Basically what the port forwarding does is it goes through your IP address and connects to your private IP address which connects to your computer and goes to the Minecraft server. So basically that's what it does. It's actually really cool. And so you just type in what's my IP, sorry about the lag, and it'll tell you right here. So mine is 96.245.50.73. And then you'll want to go into Minecraft. And you'll and you'll click add server. You'll paste it and then type colon 25565. And that is how it connects to your server. Now it it'll show up on here, hopefully. So Sorry about the lag again. So I'm going to add that. Wait. 96.245.50. Point. Uh, I don't remember my IP again. <laughs> Let's see what it is. This is a program that redirects my IP. To a website, but I need to see what it is. Um, 96.245.50.73. Okay, so 96.245.50.73.25565. And yeah, there it is, guys. So that is how you access your server. Now you're going to have to get your friends to do it. So, yeah. So, um, one of my friends is on it because I run a normal server with the same IP and he's basically on it right now. So, uh, yeah. So basically that's all you have to do. And I hope this really helps guys because, um, I know people have been having trouble. You don't need Hamachi or anything to make a crack server. Hamachi is just a pain in the ass. Don't use it. And so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. If this helped, please like it. It makes me know that you liked a cert, you like the um, video, and it helped you. And yeah, so see you later, guys.